<laughs> Dzień dobry, welcome to Thursday, which in Polish is czwartek. And uh, it is uh, 5 to 11 and my kids are still asleep. But I'm making myself a second coffee. Here we go, my favorite mug. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was reading your comments, guys. So it seems that um, most of you tells me to uh, try to uh, rescue the hair. Um, not all of you though, I know, I know, and I was tempted really for the cutting and I might still go for it, but let's try to rescue it if we can, because my kids also, both of them ask that they prefer if I have longer hair. So yeah, um, let's try to figure out uh, what we can do with it. I have some products, I'll show you what I'm using, guys. I'll try to do more of the oil treatment as well. I'll, I'll see, I'll read more about it. But uh, yeah, let's try to save it and survive for a, for a moment with the, with the hair, which is gray. I don't know if you can even see it, but anyhow, yeah. For now, this is what it is. It will drive me crazy. When it will drive me crazy, I will use the shampoonette stuff. It, it lasts for a week, but uh, at least doesn't damage the hair that much. But to be honest, for now I would try to con I would like to try to concentrate on healing it, not damaging it. Because even if it's uh, not much, I'm pretty sure every coloring, uh, because it has chemicals, it, 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 you know, it doesn't help, let's say. I do have henna, but now, does any one of you have an experience with hair destroyed from bleaching? How does it react with henna? Because I do still have it and I used to use it, I loved it, but I'm not sure uh, if I will not make it worse now. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you had an experience with henna, if it will work on the uh, damage hurt by bleaching, I don't know. So, uh, let me know. For now, I'm, I'm, I'm staying gray. But like I said, I don't think I can take it long. <laughs> but yeah, anyhow, um, I ordered some products from Amazon. I, uh, I, uh, I have already some products and let's try to save it. Anyhow, I'll go have my coffee and I think wake up kids, no? <laughs> I think it's time. Hello everybody. I'm just sitting on my nice place and um, I wanted to tell you guys what I'm doing. It's the first time so I'll see how does that work and if you know how long it will survive, let me tell you from the beginning. So I'm peeling off the garlic because I don't like peeling off the garlic so I will do it once while I'm watching TV and I'm putting it in the little jar. Yeah, so I'll store it like this in a fridge. I'm just not sure because uh, I, I, you can buy it like this in the store, but my mom said they put something on it, some chemical to keep it fresh longer. Because normally when you buy the one in the store, it stays in the fridge like a month almost. But this one I'm doing on my own and uh, we'll figure out how long it, it will stay. So basically in a mason jar in the fridge and that's my job right now. So I have uh, garlic here and I smell like garlic. And Mr. Sebastian there is having his lunch. What we had for lunch? Pasta. Pasta. Well, actually noodles. Those are egg noodles. Egg noodles and parmesan. How about that? We have chicken noodle soup. Well, the chicken soup, rosoic, in the pressure cooker. And that was noodles for it, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll cook some more. And Isabella will... Oh, Isabella already had some, uh, some ham sandwiches, so... That's what's up here. Here I had my uh, bigos with uh, some, uh, um, the pasta, the tofu pasta. And uh, yeah, and right now I'm having some Coke, the uh, Coke with ice and watching uh, some, some vlogs. We're waiting for uh, daddy to come back home because we need a car to go swimming at six, but it's just 20 to five, so he has time. But I didn't even check if he left from downtown. Maybe I should. But anyhow, that's what it is. Um, I will update you later on on the on the cosmetics what I said for the for the hair. But I'm waiting for something to be delivered today, so I would I would like to show you this one as well. Okay. Anyhow, see you guys later. See ya. <laughs> Hello everybody. So I just came to show you guys what I'm. Uh, going to be using what I'm using already and what I'm going to be using on my hair. So, so far I tried the hot oil uh, once with coconut and I will try it again, but didn't make any difference. I didn't feel anything. I stayed the whole night with it. Okay. I put it hot. I put it hot and then I put a hot towel straight from the, um, 
dryer and then I stayed with it uh, then I put a plastic bag and I had a hat and I slept and it's really hot in here so it was a hot treatment in the morning I washed my hair I couldn't see any difference but I'll try again but that was messy and sticky to wash it so I didn't like it too much and if I don't see any results then what's the point but that was the one thing and then uh favorite this is favorite i keep using this one uh three minute miracle aussie is uh, is amazing but well i don't think it can help with the <sighs> with the destroyed hair then uh, i do this moisturize and replenish uh in diffusion 23 like this well i have uh, elastics for isabella leaving treatment that's a spray so after i wash my hair i would spray it and that's what I'm doing. Then another thing is uh, I use the a Nourishing Treat uh, One Minute Hair Mask. This one. Now I didn't, this one I used only once. So I can't really tell you guys if it works yet or not. Only once I used this one. And the three, mi three Minute Miracle Mask. I did use it before, but not for like half a year, I guess. So these are new things. The stuff also what I'm using for the night is Overnight Miracle Repair and Protect repair serum from the Pantene Pro-V. It smells amazing. I don't know if it makes any difference, but if you put it overnight in the morning, you have to wash your hair. And I do that. So that instead of the hot oil treatment, I would do that, but I still need to wash my hair. And then after I wash my hair, I use the Fructis Garnier. This is Sleek and Shine. Um, it's nice you can put it also when the hair is dry so I put a little bit on the wet hair after I just wash it but then when it uh, when it dries and it starts being fluffy and you can see you know that it's so dry then I will take some of this it doesn't make it look greasy okay so makes it more shiny and that's why I like it so and it also smells very good now another thing which i use uh, here and there it's the split and leave-in conditioner tr conditioner treatment tr from tresemme i don't know if you say tresemme but that's how i say it and um yeah they say it reduces up to 80 percent of split ends after three uses so i just apply it to the ends if it makes a difference i don't know well so far you see guys yeah the hair is destroyed now i had I heard about this one already before, but right now one of you told me also to pick it up. So I had it already in my shopping, saved for later, uh, when I got a comment that this is something what is really good, Olaplex hair protector. So I picked it up and... Uh, I didn't use it yet, so I just received it today. That's what I was waiting, uh, you guys. I told you I wanted to wait to receive my last product. So I will try that and I will let you know if that will help. But funny stuff, they put the sticker on top of the instructions. So I need to figure out how to use it. It's on the wet hair, on after wash, before. Use before shampooing, already said. Not a conditioner. Okay, but I, you see then after this, I cannot read because it has the sticker. So I'll figure it out and I will use it and I will let you know. The other thing I'm also using... Mm, but it does um, it does weight the hair, so it makes it a little bit greasy. So I kind of exchange it. This is uh, um, Aragon oil, and this is Polish. I bought it when I was in Poland. Aragon oil, can you see, guys? It's really nice. It smells very nice. They say uh, silky elixir, uh, silky leave-in conditioner, actually, actually with Aragon oil, and uh, yeah, it's they say for dry, damaged hair exceptional care so these are the products i'm going to be using extensively right now which means that i will have to wash my hair more often but let's see let's see if i can if i can make it work yeah uh, this you can see this is already my new hair and it's all nice and gray oh well that's what it is so let's see if we can rescue my hair a little bit Alrighty, so I showed you this. If you have any other tips, I still read everything. Uh, anything what you what you would like to advise me would be awesome. And uh, right now, I'm going to go and have some food. We've been to swimming, you guys. <laughs> that was funny. Um, we were waiting for Catalin to come back from work, so he would bring the car. We need to leave like five to six. There is no problem. But quarter to six, he's calling me and he's saying I'm stuck in the traffic. And I'm like, yeah, it's quarter to six. We need to be there at six. It takes me 17 minutes walk, fast walking. I have two kids and we're not ready. So we made a run for it. The kids put the helmets, bikes, and we run. Halfway run, I think so. 
I was sweating it so hard, like the sweat was running on my face. I could run only, run, jog. It was slow run. I can't run fast. Halfway, and then the other half I made fast walking. We were late only three minutes. So I did my exercise, but not fully, you guys. It's only 24 minutes, so I still need to do six minutes. And I, making an update, still every day in August, all the circles are closed on my um, activity ring. Is it called activity ring? I don't know but I like it. So that's what it is. So far I have only a stand. I have 13 hours out of 12. I need six more active minutes, which I will do while I watch my uh, numbers. And then I need another 200 calories, which should be fine because it's just uh, 8 p.m. Anyhow, going to eat right now something. Then I'm going to make myself some tea, watch some movie, and that's about it. I don't think anything else interesting happening today. And we'll see what's up tomorrow. I'll see you later, guys. Good morning, good morning, Ding Dobry. Welcome to Friday. TGF, yes? <laughs> TGIF. <laughs> Anyhow, it's Friday morning. It's really morning, 7.22. And Friday in Polish is Piątek. And uh, I just dropped off Catalina at the bus and going home to have a coffee. Just wanted to show you. So that's my new thing now. Yeah, a heart, it helps too, right? No, but um, I did the, uh, the Olaplex uh, treatment and they said uh, minimum 10 minutes, the longer better. So um, I actually left it overnight, but right now I will go home. I will um, have a coffee. I will go home, I'll have a coffee and I will uh, wash it off and then let it dry. I'll put, I'll put my old conditioners and stuff, but then I will let it dry and see if it worked. And I'll let you know, obviously. So uh, it's still all about the hair, you guys. But hey, that's what it is. <laughs> well, all about the hat this time. I'm going to be wearing hat. It keeps the hair in place and everything is fine. Anyhow, let's wake up, let's have some coffee, let's go home, let's let the kiddos sleep some more and uh, figure out what we're doing today because I'm not sure. I think, oh, you know what, I have one idea I want to do. So, I mean, not an idea, but just I remembered what I want and I want to make my uh, homemade uh, uh, tzatziki sauce. But for that, I will need to go to Walmart. So I was thinking uh, Sebastian has a music today so we might uh, after stop quickly at the walmart and uh, pick up a few things to be able to buy um to be able to make tzatziki i was actually thinking to make ranch as well i never done ranch tzatziki i made many times but never done ranch deep but i like really with my bread which i'm baking is um uh, i'm making those tiny rounds which when i put them in the air fryer they are like chips like uh I don't know. I'll show you. And then they are so nice to dip them in any dips. So I figured that maybe I can make my own. I mean, the tzatziki for sure. But they are a ranch as well. And just keep them in mason jars and have yummy food, you know, to snack on. Anyhow, so that is the plan for today. And I was thinking about filming a recipe, but then I didn't decide yet um, if I actually want it or not. So we'll see. I'm, I know what I want. I told you I will make donut holes. But I don't know if I want to set up everything today or or over the weekend. I don't know. Well, if I did it today, I could process it and post it tomorrow. But really, depending how the day goes and how everything is. All right, you guys. So, home, coffee, wake up and talk to you Hello, everybody. So, I came home. I had my coffee. I took a bath. I washed my hair. So, all the... Uh, conditioners and stuff I used everything and that's how the hair looks like I don't know you guys does it look any better I don't know this is really I don't know well I have a bottle I'll keep using it and we'll see if it makes any it felt it doesn't feel softer but just feels like a little bit more manageable it doesn't stand up just like a hay I don't know well for now, I'm having it this way. I'm still not happy, happy, but you know what? It's a it's a treatment, so they said twice a week, and that's what we'll be doing. And we'll see how it looks like. Anyhow, having a terrible headache, so uh, not sure what to do. I just drank a lot of water. I don't want to take pills, but I might have to. We'll see what's happening. The kids are up, but uh, didn't uh, didn't eat yet so we'll see what they want for breakfast and 
and what we're doing today. I was hoping maybe it's not going to be that hot and we can go a little bit with the bikes and me to do some jogging, but if I have a terrible headache, I won't be able to do jogging, then maybe I'll just take them to the park with the bikes. We'll see about that. Uh, Sebastian has music and I think I would like to go and pick up stuff for the for the tzatziki. I told you that, that already. So probably I would do that after Sebastian's music. So maybe at the same time I could pick up Kathleen from the train. That's the plan. Nothing else interesting. But if I decide to do anything and if I buy the ingredients and do the tzatziki, you're doing it with me, guys. Okay? So that's what it is. But right now, let's try to get rid of the headache because I think it's a... Uh, it's the change of the weather because it's getting cold in the in the morning it was actually 15 degrees so you know it's not very cold but it's much colder than it was before so i'm guessing maybe the weather is changing and that's why i'm getting a headache i don't like it though not much all right you guys i will see you soon hello everybody so uh hold on a second will i see you better a little bit anyhow um working on the butter chicken i have here in my pressure cooker some chicken getting ready but i think it's not enough i think uh, after i add the sauce and the coconut milk is not going to be enough of uh, of a chicken so i might at the end i'll see how it consistency but i might add a can of the uh, chicken from the from costco just to make it more uh, chickeny <laughs> and i wanted to show you my kiddos the uh, they playing very nice with the uh, Playmobil. Oh, look at Sebastian there, arranging everything. They have a city. Whoops, this one is falling apart a little bit. But yeah, here. It's not organized is, right now. It's not organized, so, right? So I'll show it when it's organized. Okay, but there is uh, all the houses. And uh, there is something happening under the table, isn't it? What's there happening under the table? <laughs> Uh-huh, driving, I see. <laughs> they were just going through the kitchen on, the, on their knees with the car, so... Anyhow, let's do some butter chicken. And, uh, oh, and here I'm trying to, I'm soaking the, the stove. You know, guys, it gets the burnt stuff. I will need to uh, scrub it as well, but uh, right now, hold on a second, I'll turn it off because I'll burn it in a second. Okay. So anyhow, um, I'm, I put a, like a, a, how is it called? It's that creamy uh, cleaning stuff and I like to soak it and then I will scrub it and then whatever it's left, actually I have to go with a knife and scrub it off with a knife, but that's how it is. Anyhow, so that is looking ready. My chicken with a little bit of onion. I'm going to add the sauce right now and put it on a stew here. So it's going to be cooking. And then uh, we have, uh, we have uh, almost an hour until we have to go uh, uh, for the guitar. And we're going, like I told you guys, going to go uh, Walmart for some shopping to be able to do some tzatziki. Alrighty, so keeping busy, watching some YouTube there on the TV. I love my TV in the kitchen, you guys. So watching some YouTube while cooking, uh, kids are playing, all good. I will see you guys a little so, bit later. Uh, I need to be scrubbing you guys. I don't know if you can see that I have a little blade like this and i just go and scrub let me touch it there and scrub 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 all the burns yep that's what it is Oh,
right, so quick Walmart uh, run. We hope quick, right, you guys? Yeah, I have my guys with me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so we going we going quickly. Uh, we don't have much to buy, but like you know, I told you already, guys. Tzatziki, we're making homemade tzatziki, so uh, we have to pick up yogurt and cucumber. That's for sure. I think we need milk and eggs and something else. I have a list, so we'll do it quick, quick. And then we going back home. It's very hot, you guys. Ooh, the car goes backwards. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very hot. It was not that hot, I thought before, no. no that's why but it's like tracker. 30 or something. Yeah, <laughs> he has long pants, but it's too hot. Anyhow, you guys. Okay, we go shop right now a little bit. We enter with the exit. Why not? And then uh, and then we go home and uh, we'll drop three things. Ta-da! Well. We have here a pretty thing. We have uh, freezes and stuff in there and chewing gum into the garbage. Are you ready to push? Can you push? Yeah. Alrighty. So uh, yeah, three things. That's a little bag with three things. Yeah. But we can make the Greek yogurt uh, uh, tzatziki. That's what we'll do. See you later. On the way. Ah, I need to lock the car, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, what I wanted to say, it's on the way back home. Uh, we remember that we wanted something else. Sebastian remembered that he wanted some wafers, chocolate and, and vanilla. Really hard to describe he, yeah, to they were trying to dis describe it to me, but uh, it, it didn't work until he found the picture. So we came to Sobis and I remember that they wanted to, to buy something for uh, Catalin. Those are like uh, um, like a pe filo pastry filled in with feta cheese. And he really, really, really loves it. And it seems that Sobis Sobis has it the cheapest. So we came to Sobis right now to try to find sweets for kids. So three things, guys, three things, really three things. If we find everything, if we don't, then less. Uh, I need free frozen section. So, uh, and the kids are running. Okay. Ooh, chicken. See, the three things. We already have uh, peanut butter, but now I saw uh, Diet Pepsi, Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. Like, really? I'm taking it. I want to try it. But she took the shopping cart. Guys, can you hear it? She's not with me. <laughs> but we cannot find the stuff she wanted, unfortunately. No, I can't. No? Alrighty. I guess. I'm I sorry. Okay, make something to make it up. Alrighty. So, more than three things. Impossible. Hello everybody, back home and uh, going to try to do the uh, tzatziki, but the trick to the tzatziki is you want to do the cucumber first, you want to salt it and then you want to wait until, that's what we're doing, I have a grater here and I'm going just to grate it, but the whole trick is with this that you want to salt it and let it stay for 10-15 minutes and then you want to squeeze all the moisture because you do not want a liquidy tzatziki you don't do not want that but with that being said i did pick up two different greek yogurts one is zero fat which i'm afraid will not fly for this because it really needs to be creamy i think so it can be delicious but i bought it because a huge difference in calories so for uh, 175 grams uh, the zero fat is uh, 100 calories versus the 5% uh, uh, fat is 170. So it's almost double. But then again, you don't eat that much of it, tzatziki, do you? I don't know. So I bought both because I also wanted to try to do ranch. And ranch you mix uh, Greek yogurt with uh, mayo. So for this one, I would go with the low fat one because I wouldn't think that would make a huge of a difference. But for the... For the tzatziki, I think, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyhow, cucumber, and I am keeping my uh, my skin on. I like the fiber, I like the taste, and I like how it looks like. So I'm not making much this time. So I took uh, half, of the, half of the English cucumber, the green cucumber. They say that this one is the best because it has the least moisture, right? So that's what we want to use. But anyhow, right now it's grated. We're going to salt it. Let me put a little bit of salt. Okay. So up, like that everything will get a little bit of salt there. Now, 
this is going to already be a little bit of salt for our tzatziki. Later on, we're going to add some more if we need, but we might not need to. So this is going to stay right now. Actually, probably it would be a good thing to stir it. So it's like everything is salty and everything will take the juice out. So, all right. Okay, so the cucumber gets ready. Now, the other thing I'm going to try to do today, I'll see if I will have time, but I saw, I was watching a, a vlog of, who was that, who was it? Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. She's doing some keto stuff, but anyhow, she was making this egg loaf and it looked delicious and uh, she was frying it after, but I thought I would bake it. So basically you make this egg loaf and I would make it a little bit more sweet and then you bake it in a loaf pan and then you slice it and she fried it in the butter on the pan. But what I would do, I would slice it and try to make it like a biscotti. We could add some nuts to it, but for now I'm trying, this is going to be a lot of calories how it is because it's a cream cheese, though I did buy light one, but still it's a cream cheese with butter with eight eggs. And I don't remember what else, but I will let you know if I'm doing it, uh, what, what it is, but it's like eight eggs. So you, I'm going to beat the eggs with some sweetener. I'm going to add some vanilla and then you, have softened butter and softened cream cheese. You you whip it and then you add the egg mixture and then you put it all into the uh, oven and you bake it. And it sounds delicious, no? Anyhow, we'll try to do that, but later. Right now, this gets uh, juicy and we'll try to do tzatziki. And uh, then we have to go to pick up Katalin from the, from the bus today, but needs to be done. So I'll see you guys probably later cooking. See ya. All right, so this is this has a lot of juice, and I saw on sh another show that you can use your potato ricer to actually squeeze the liquid out of the cucumber. And I thought that's a so, so cool thing. I do have a potato ricer, but I do not want the juice there, though. No, that's okay. So. We're going to put all the cucumber, Isabella calls cucumber cucumber, if you didn't know guys. Okay, so here we have some more of the juice and right now we have all the cucumber in there. And let's see. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Okay. All right. So we don't want any liquid, you guys. So we're squeezing it as much as we can. I don't want to make it go through the holes like mashed potatoes, but I think we're pretty good here. All right. So that's our cucumber without juice. Now we're going to put it here. Okay. Mm, it smells good. I really like how cucumber smells. All right, let's put it in. Let's grab our yogurt from the fridge. So we go with the zero. Let's try the zero. I'm making a first uh, attempt. I will open it and I'll see how it looks inside, you guys. Okay. We'll try to make it low calories and then I'll tell you honestly if, uh, if that works or no. Okay. Well, it looks creamy, you guys. I don't know. One, two, three, and four. All right, we might need a spoon instead of the fork. Mm, yeah. Now, we have one clove of garlic and I'm putting only one. If it was for me, I would put more, but because Isabella likes it a lot too, I don't wanna put too much because the store-bought tzatziki is not very garlicky. And if I make it, uh, you know, if I put fresh garlic like I'm just doing right now, it's going to be very garlicky. So, 
I want her to like it and for her to like it I'm losing some we need to make it in moderation okay so one big clove of garlic and now the last thing we need is baby deal and I need my scissors where are my scissors all right I think that's enough you guys looks green enough okay so now let's give it a stir and then we'll figure out which we, if we need more uh, salt mm -hmm. they say that it has to stay in the fridge Everyone says that, but for me, not always <laughs> happens. But right now, we will put it in the mason jar and we'll put it away. But right now, let me grab that fork back and let me try it. Okay. We need much more salt. But it is garlic enough though. It has that spice of a of a garlic, you know? That bite of a garlic, spice of a garlic. Okay, let's do that again. A little bit more. Oops, did I just spray on my top? I think I did already. So I think right now it's enough. I'll give it a try again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I think I would go for one more garlic, but if I go, Isabella will not like it. So if you're doing at home, probably two would be perfect. But now we're going to put it in the mason jar at least an hour, you guys. At least an hour. Because <laughs> all the flavors, they need to kind of blend together. If we just eat it right now, the garlic is not yet there. The baby, baby deal. <laughs> all right, so tzatziki red, my friend. And I think I will have to go and pick up Katalin soon. He didn't call me yet. He was supposed to call me when he's at the subway station, but... Uh, can I show you from close? It looks delicious. Of course, I need to touch it. Oh, I don't. It just adjusted by itself. Oh, like this. Looks delicious. No? All right. So that goes to the fridge and then I'll eat it with my uh, crisp bread. And uh, yeah, and then later on, I think I will do that, uh, that egg love. I'm really excited. I have stuff out, so it's nice and uh, soft. All righty. See ya.
it see, seems that it's ready. Let's have a look. I hope it didn't burn. I didn't look inside. It did a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, well, it's a little bit uh, uh, too brown. But uh, yeah, so I guess I put it for... Uh, I put it for 45 minutes and probably was supposed to be 35. Oh well, it's not burnt burnt, you guys. It's brown, let's have a look. See? Alrighty, well, now it needs to cool down before we can do anything with it. So let's cool it down. I was doing some walking in place to uh, close my circles and uh, I think I'm done for now <sighs> and um, what do I still need to do I did my uh, I did my stand hours already my active minutes and I need only 20 more calories and it's quarter to 10 so that's not a problem it's going to happen today you guys so anyhow I did that I uh, did I try with you guys the tzatziki and the other stuff probably didn't because it was staying in the in the in the fridge I did try it before I was going this smells very good you guys I just overdid it with the time I'm curious if it will just come out because I know it's going to collapse I know that because it's egg stuff so it's always collapsing but let's see if it comes out though so if we do this and this uh, Ooh, yummy! Oh, you cannot see, you guys. I show you because that looks much better than the other side. So, ta-da! This looks good. Okay, so a little bit too brown on there, but here it's yummy. Now it needs to cool down completely before we can cut it into slices, and then we need to toast it still. So that's what's going to be happening. But I don't know if right now or later when. For now let it cool mm. smells good see you guys later. so we just watched uh, rampage which was very nice i really like the movie i love dwayne johnson and uh, the movie was very nice anyhow i came the cake is uh, fully co cool this is uh, the end mm. this is delicious just like it is Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, the cake looks like this. And tomorrow, because right now it's quarter past 12. And that's why I'm talking so quiet, because everyone is asleep, including Catherine. He fell asleep. He saw the movie before, so he fell asleep. Anyhow, I love that. This is delicious. Tomorrow we're going to slice it and toast it, so it's going to be crispy. Yummy. And right now let's go to sleep. Dobranoc. Good morning, good morning, Jin Dobry. Welcome to Saturday. Where are you guys? Here? No, here. <laughs> Welcome to Saturday, which in Polish is Sobota. And today we will be doing some gardening job, so that's uh, that's uh, not that much interesting. But we're going right now to Canadian Tire to pick up a portable barbecue. Because we realize when we go like for a day to the, uh, to the lake, uh, we only have the, the gas stove. But we don't need a stove. When you go like this, you want to have a barbecue. And it's never possible to actually grab one of the available there because they are not available because we are usually late. We don't wake up early. So we want to have our own. And I found on Canadian Tire, they had like for $29 portable one. So you can actually do some barbecue in the garden. I know we have the gas one, huge one, but it's a different story when you sit around and put your sausages or make marshmallows or something. So anyhow, we're going to Canadian Tire to pick it up and uh, we'll probably pick up a bag of uh, coal, 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 where, where, where. Anyhow, and uh, if we manage to tomorrow, if the weather is nice and we're going tomorrow to the lake, we're going to take it with us, but maybe we'll, uh, uh, we'll check some marshmallows tonight. I don't know. But um, after we come back, I will do the, the, the egg loaf. I will um, toast it to see how that goes, but it was delicious. So I, I like it like it is. So toasted, it's only going to get better. And uh, yeah, so that's what's up with us. Let's go. To <laughs> What tomorrow will be And it will be like today 
The sun may shine and there may be some cloud And later on it may rain The breeze may lift up the wings of the trees And rustle them like a shroud The mist may fall on the glistening leaves And coat them in silver, coat them in silver Time to make some lunch. So uh, for lunch, let me see. May I'm making some sausage. Yeah, I'm going to add some pasta, and then I'm going to have some eggs with cream. I just put the eggs here. I'm going to whisk it right now. Should I whisk it with a fork or should I use my fancy schmancy thingy? I think I should do that now. I think we need a fork to poke the yolks because, oh no, when you heat it. All right, works. The fork would be easier probably, but hey, it's okay. So, sausage with pasta and eggs, and then we going, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the, uh, my cake, uh, toast my cake, and then, and then we work in a, in a, in what <laughs> we're going to work in the garden you guys though so it is a little bit hot so we'll see how that will go Alrighty, see you later let's make some food it smells good guys pity you cannot see but it week you cannot smell but it smells really good i won't sigh if my dreams are only dreams and it may not be the drawing that i drew Oh, I wish I had a better plan, but so it seems that I don't know what the world wants me to do. Oh, this road is long and long and long and long without me. This road is long and long and long and long without you. Saturday still but the afternoon and uh, I wanted to show you guys so we went to Canadian Tire we picked up the tarp to fix the roof can you see this we fixed the roof so right now we can sit here when it's raining which is very very cool and then we went to the dollar store with Miss Isabella to pick up umbrella because if you look there you see that flowery thingy there <laughs> because we had to make a hole in the tarp to be able to install it on the uh, on the roof uh, we put an umbrella there so there is an umbrella and I put flowers on top so maybe we can stay in the rain we will test it the first time it's raining but right now it's uh, it's actually nice so uh, that's done and then we went to the dollar store to pick up the umbrella and we picked up some flowers to put in the so we have flowers on the table so that's it I think for this vlog you guys thank you so much for watching 
We hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon, which is probably, well, tomorrow or Monday. But definitely video on Wednesday. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Do widzenia.